Welcome to the tutorial reshaping a drawing using the contour editor tool. In this tutorial I'm going to reshape the cleaned up lines of the cartoon rabbit using the contour editor. So to access the contour editor you can click on its icon in the tools toolbar or use the keyboard shortcut option A on Mac or alt A on Windows. So if you have another tool selected such as the select tool and would like to bring up the contour editor tool momentarily you just have to click on the keyboard shortcut A and hold it down. So if you have a stroke selected with the contour editor tool you'll be able to see um, its points along the ve central vector path. If you'd like to then edit one of these paths such as um, the bulge here we know that the rabbit is not actually that fat so we'd probably like to straighten that out you just have to click on a point and then use either Option on Mac or Alt to break the Bezier handle and move it independently. And what I mean by that is that generally when you move a Bezier handle, the two handles move together because um, well, you'd like to keep this curve um, fairly even. However, if you then use Alt or Option while moving the handle, the handle breaks from uh, the other one and moves independently. So you can straighten a line like that. So now let's look at some of the options in the Tool Properties panel of the Contour Editor. The first one is that you can either have your cursor be a marquee or a lasso. So the marquee is the bounding box that you I showed you before um, when using the Select tool. So you can do that to you know, select one line or the whole path or a point. Uh, the white point is the only one that's selected now out of this group. Or you can use the lasso tool, which a lot of people like because it's, it's generally easier to, to select things individually and more precisely. So I'm not going to get into the snapping features because they were discussed fairly thoroughly in the tutorial selecting drawing objects. But there is one more thing I'd like to show you that you can do with the contour editor tool a different way of reshaping a curve. So if you select a curve in the drawing view, you can actually select the part of the curve between two points and pull and push on it to reshape it without having to use the points or their bezier handles to do that reshaping. So it's an interesting way of reshaping a line and not something you see in many drawing programs. So now let's look at the contour editor in terms of reshaping a um, brush line or what we refer to as a uh, vector contour line. So right now the nose of the, uh, the rabbit is actually um, a central vector line. And what we want to do is select it and then go to drawing, convert, pencil lines to brush strokes. So now it has a contour vector. And I'm going to rotate that just like this and move it a bit. And then I'm going to bring back the contour editor tool. So as we see here, there's a bunch of points um, around this vector contour. But what I actually want for the rabbit nose is really just the V. I don't want this top part of the square. So what I can do is I can actually grab one point or a group of points here and actually drag it past uh, the other side um, that delimits the line. And if I do that, I actually can create a cut in the line like this. I also have the option of just selecting a bunch of points and hitting delete, which will also um, delete the vector points. So you can do either or. Something like that. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of this one here as well. So what I'd like to also do is show you how to use the Contour Editor tool to taper, which is something a lot of people uh, end up doing with this tool. If you have um, anything that's a central vector line, and like I said, it has that fixed width, you might decide later you wanted this to be more like a brush stroke where you can have tapers. So to do that, you really just continue doing what you did before, and that's uh, adjusting these bezier handles until you get a nice taper, um, you know, using several of the techniques I showed you, either bending the handles, just deleting some of the points, 
um, until you get a nice clean taper. Like that. The last thing I'd like to show you is the Show Contour Editor Controls option. So if you click on this button and then select a group of points in the rabbit nose, what you get is a blue bounding box. And what you can do with this bounding box is scale, um, rotate, or reposition just specific points in the nose or along any contour path. And um, this differs from the select tool in that the select tool would force you to perform these transformations on the entire object, where uh, this option allows you to just perform transformations on specific points. So I think that's it for the tutorial, reshaping a drawing using the contour editor tool. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, cutting drawing parts.